Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, Tata and Nero have uh, dismantled all of this. Uh, the roof is gone. Um, all the walls are gone. The reason that I wasn't uh, opposed to the idea of dismantling this pin is that I'm still looking for space for more tanks. Um, the most, uh, the least labor intensive and uh, most cost effective tanks. So, all that really needs to be done for this old fattening pen to turn it into a tank, well, there's, there's two ways to go about it. Um, first, no matter which way, all these rice holes have to be removed. And they're about two feet deep right now, 18 inches to two feet deep. So they need to be removed and we need to get down to soil. And that's about from the lip of that concrete. As I remember, it's about uh, one meter, four inches or so. Uh, it's almost four feet. So that's great. Um, and then we either need to line it with a pond liner or cement it in. Now the pond liners aren't cheap. And of course, you can never find one that is this size. And I think this is uh, 14 by 20 feet. I don't have my tape measure with me. Actually, I don't have a tape measure anymore. Tate went through them all, and then Gina bought him. And then he he went through he went through all my tape measures and all his tape measures. And Gina just had to buy him another one. Uh, but no one's bought me one, so I don't have a tape measure anymore. I think it's 14 by 20 feet. Um, and when you figure in the walls, uh, you need something that's 20 by 30 feet, a pond liner that size. And I haven't seen anything close to that on Lazada or Shopee. So you have to buy two or three and marry them together. And it's just, I don't know, I have no faith in, in sealing those together. But uh, I guess it would be worth a shot. It's uh, either a pond liner or a cement uh, floor and walls, and I haven't I haven't budgeted out the the uh, putting cement in floor or walls. I, who knows? Um, the the liner would probably be a bit cheaper uh, because there wouldn't be a lot of labor involved in it, and material wise, I don't know. It's probably a toss of the coin. But the reason that I was considering this pin for a tank <coughs> is because look the roof is already gone <coughs> I think I am coming down with something the roof is already gone and, and I don't want it if I was ever going to do a bioflock system in any of these tanks uh, it can't have a roof on it like that because it needs sunlight uh, as a as a it just, it, as for uh, I don't know my brain my brain isn't working all the technical terms it needs sunlight it can't be in shade and uh, and if it is then you have to provide artificial light and then that's just you know silliness <coughs> all this would need would be a, a screen net over the top of it to keep the leaves out of it <coughs> and that would be fine as a covering so using this is uh, much easier than using any portion of the main piggery because um, all those walls, those partition walls, those stall walls have to be removed. All, the, all those walls that separate the pens, they would all have to come out, all of them. And even the side walls because they're not, they're not um, strong enough to withhold any kind of water pressure. So all this cement that you see, or concrete that you see, all of it has to come out. And on a piggery that's 140 feet long, that's a lot. And I don't know where we would put it, other than just putting it back down in the in the bottom. And we could do that, I suppose. Uh, 
bust it up a little bit just or what or not and just put it back down in the bottom but that is not an easy an easy task any way that you look at it busting up all these walls uh, laying them over or breaking them up and laying them down in there that's why I was thinking about as an experiment um, some point way down the road uh, is using this as an additional tank because we also have these other uh, breeding pits that breeding pits <laughs> uh, these other fattening pens that could be turned into uh, tanks all these here and we've got four more of varying sizes so um, if I was going if I was going to uh, make more tanks and utilize uh, parts of the old piggery this would be it now like I said this is down the road because we had to finish these two shrimp tanks up here first uh, we need additional breeding tanks um, up top um, depending on you know I would like I would like room for expansion and depending on how well uh, we do selling fry uh, because that that setup up there what we have up there would be enough to supply our farm with uh, fry for the ponds that we're eventually going to have in here anything that would be on a commercial basis for sale uh, we would need this area here hey shut up we would need this area here uh, as breeding tanks all these here um, so uh, you know there is tiger so there is a, a progression on how I want to do things here. Uh, we need to finish those uh, those breeding tanks up top, uh, the shrimp tanks, and perhaps at some point turn these into uh, more breeding tanks, or shrimp tanks, or grow out tanks, or whatever. Um, but this these this is what I would use for tanks first because it involves the least amount of labor to turn them into tanks so that's kind of the the long-term uh, plan goal however you want to look at it here uh, that I've, I've got I've tentatively, tentatively got mapped out so we'll get there it's not going to be an overnight process uh, everything here and things in general take twice as long and cost twice as much as you think and in the Philippines not only does it cost twice as much as you think as you think it takes ten times as long because <laughs> that's just the way that it is here so that's going to be the progression of events we're going to finish these breeding tanks here uh, Depending on size, I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and make four, but smaller than the four that we have. Four more tanks there. Finish these shrimp tanks, of which one will probably be a fry grow-out tank. Um, don't know yet. And then maybe at some point, uh, turn those, turn that area right there, the fat, the old fattening pens, into uh, additional breeding tanks doing a water exchange here I'm pretty sure it's time to stop this siphoning oh yes definitely is yes. so I'm gonna run some more water back into this things are doing well should really pull these out and check. I should really bring my sechi disc over here and hold it down in there and see if there's any fry in there. But I don't see any right at the moment. So all right. So I'm going to get some water back into this tank and. Uh, 
call it a day. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.